Unlimited Power! Pump up the jam, pump it up. You just caught a fairy. Uh, Put it in a bottle. It will kill you. Or no, not it'll the opposite of kill you. Hi, welcome back. Opposite of kill you. Live you. It will live you. Enliven. Hmm. How's that? Do I? Did I get a key? I'm stupid and I can't remember. Let's go across this little. Oh, I do. It's up in the inventory. I am stupid. It's okay. Sorry. Hey, well, good baby. I definitely opened. Th that treasure chest I opened in the last episode, I didn't register it because we were too busy talking about Indiana Jones opinions. <laughs> um, so yeah. It's really interesting to see like, like how much focus, because I'm just watching the game, so it doesn't feel like I have to focus a lot, because I don't, and I can just talk about whatever. But like when we're going through this, you're like, ah. Uh. Uh huh. <laughs> like, yeah. <laughs> sometimes they need to focus on the game. Sometimes they need to focus on the conversation. Really hard to do both. Hmm. Oh god. This is really hard to do without motion controls. It's like go to left. Uh, go to yeah. right. Oh god. <laughs> it's not hard. It's just tedious. Mm. It's not the most fun element of the game. Sorry, controversial opinion. Wow. He didn't like the tedious section. Uh, oh good gosh. Can't go back now. Too late. Nice. No turning back, or whatever. So, I have a question for you. Oh yeah, lay it on me. Um, just kidding, I don't have a question for you, I was padding for time. Oh. Awesome, that I'm happened. Glad. Do you have a question for me? No. <laughs> <laughs> Why would I? <laughs> I have a question I want to talk about Indiana Jones more, because I love Indiana Jones, but... I do, yeah, I'm, yeah. Not, I'm down to keep going with it. Uh, we're talking about the Lego game a little bit. The yeah. Lego games. Oh my so god, I are... do have stuff to talk about. Have you played yeah. both Lego games? Yes. Oh my god, the first one... The first one's awesome. first one is pretty close to like the movies. Yeah. You know? the, for a Lego game. The second one, not even close. Yeah, the second one came out like less than two years after the first one. And they had already covered the first three movies. It was crazy. And so they're like, oh, we gotta do one for the fourth movie because... Uh, because consumerism or something. Yeah. And then, because corporate told us to. And then, uh, Corporate synergy. <laughs> corporate synergy. And then they did, uh, but they are like, well, we already did the first three movies, so let's do it again, but make everything not how it was in the movies. Yeah. So, no, no boulder chase, but instead we'll have, like, a giant monster made out of ants. Yes! It was so weird, because there, because in one of the movies a guy, like, dies by ants. Spoilers, I guess. Yeah. Uh, he's like eaten alive by red ants, but in this one they eat him and then he turns into a oh, red ant monster. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm like, there's maybe like this is the wrong every IP for a every uh, every one of the movies ends with like a giant boss battle. Yeah, I think the first one is like one of the ghosts that come out of the the ark. Of yeah, the or something like that. Um, it's just really weird and stupid. The, the last one is like an alien because there's the whole plot about the aliens. Yeah. That was really weird. I kind of, I'm not. If I rewatch the indie movies soon, I'm not as excited to rewatch that one. But yeah. I just, I'm curious because there's so much weirdness in it. You know? Yeah. I will say also, Lego Indiana Jones 2 is a bad like. It's not like very um, mm -hmm. faithful to the games nope. or the movies, but it's fun. I will fun. say that. And yeah. there's like a really cool open world element. Like, yeah, I it. think it's hard for the Lego game, any of the Lego games, not to be fun. That is true. But I also think some of them. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Um, I think some of them rely on uh, knowledge of the source material more than others because I played the Lego Harry Potter games before I had any like familiarity with Harry Potter. Yeah. And I was lost the entire time. I was like, what is going on? I was like, magic, cool. Okay, this guy's in the ground. No, 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 please, please, no, 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 no! How come you, how come he can balance with it and hit, you can hit him with your slingshot, that's what you did last time. Come here. You hit him with your slingshot. Okay. Yeah, well, he did it, I did it when he was on the thing, and I can't get him to come on the thing. Uh, I think you can, it can reach far enough. Anyways, yeah. Harry Potter's fun, the, the magic and stuff, but I just did not know what was going on. Mm. My dad is a big Potter head. Yeah? Yeah, we went to Universal for like Harry Potter World. I mean, mm -hmm. it's cool. Like, It is. I mean, I've said the spiel a billion yeah, we, times. Yeah, we, we've <laughs> said this on the show many a time. 
don't endorse J.K. Rowling or any of her stupid opinions. Yes. But dang if that world isn't cool and really well built. Yeah. Um, and you know, it paves the way for better people, you know, to yeah. make better works of art. I hope. Um, so, that's like, cool. like a two-part play that's on Broadway about Harry Potter. Yep. Right? That's what you meant? Uh, actually, no. A four-hour play about Harry Potter and his kids or something? <laughs> Harry was, Potter and his the, kids. <laughs> or something. Or something. <laughs> that's the subtitle. <laughs> it's, the, it's the canonical eighth book or something, that's how they marketed it. Yeah. Like, it's just a script, but it's the eighth book. Yes. Um, it was, uh... Shoot. No, um... <laughs> Abria Jaeger mm -hmm. of Dimension 20... What? Is, uh... Oh, oh okay. Huh? I got you. What? What? It's like, of the uh, 20th Dimension. Yeah. No, 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 no. It's, it's, like, it's a... It's a, uh, a show. Thing. Yeah. Oh, God. Whoa. That was precarious. Oh. <laughs> uh, is running a... A game called, I think, Magic and Misfits? At the mm -hmm. time of this recording. Uh, well, I think all of that stuff's already pre-recorded, but mm -hmm. regardless. But, um, you know, she's a cool creator and, you know, like, obviously inspired by that world. So, I don't know, just cool things come out of the fact that that, that happened, so... <laughs> it's unfortunate, yes, but... Yeah. Like, other better people are doing it, making stories. I mean, just like, like, look at Tolkien, you know? Oh! Inspired, like, all these stories, but, I mean, mm -hmm. the dude was kind of racist because orcs were just basically, you know, a, uh, a stand-in for, like, Asian cultures, which is super messed up. <laughs> oh, I didn't know that one. Mm-hmm, yeah, 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 that's basically... Thanks. There, there's a lot of, allu like, allusions to, um, like, a lot of what was happening at the time of mm -hmm. those... Lord of the Rings books because it was like, yo, we're getting invaded and stuff or whatever. So it was uh, basically like, oh uh, yeah, yeah. These are the Germans, and the, you can like figure it out. Yikes! Yikes! But like through that, I, I mean, oh, you know, what? I know that I have the best example. Mm -hmm. Freaking Cthulhu. Okay. All the way. H.P. Lovecraft sucked. Yeah. He was the worst. You know what he named his cat? What? N word. Cat. Oh, yeah, yeah. Well, no, it was N-word yeah. boy cat. Like, holy shit, dude. Like, super racist. Um, it was not okay. Not okay at all. Nope. We do not stand by that. It's totally, totally fucked. Um, but the stories in, like, you know, Eldritch Horror is, like, a whole genre, and better people have made stuff from that, you know? Yeah. It's just weird. Yeah, I remember it's like off the cuff, but uh, I, I watched uh, the Scooby Doo Mystery Inc. show last year. Mm -hmm. I binged that on Netflix, and there's like this whole recurring character that's basically H.P. Lovecraft. Um, what? Oh, we'll what? come back to that. <laughs> I think this is important. <laughs> Uh, Whoa, that's like. Look who it is. Huh? I thought that tornado I stirred up would have tossed and torn you apart, yet here you are, not in pieces. I love your eyeshadow. I mean, what? Huh? Not that your life or death has any consequence. And your piercing. What? Sorry, what are you saying? Sir? It's just the girl that matters now, and I can sense her here, just beyond this door. Yes, we plucked her majesty from the perch, from her perch in the clouds, and now she's ours. Oh. oh, but listen to me, I'm being positively uncivil. Allow me to introduce myself. I am Link. <laughs> <laughs> My name is Stud Muffin. <laughs> I am the demon lord who presides over this land you look down upon. This world you call the surface. You may call me... Giraheim? 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 I think it's mo most... Commonly Girahim, but Gira it's a him. Ah. <laughs> In truth. <laughs> you can call me Girahim. Gira Gira I very much prefer to be indulged with my full title, Lord Girahim the Third. But I'm not fussy. <laughs> Junior the Third. <laughs> Junior. <laughs> Girahim Junior. Dr. Girahim Junior the Third. Uh, 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 not so fast. 
Did you really just draw your sword? Foolish boy. Huh? <laughs> By all rights, the girl should have fallen into our hands already. Huh? She was nearly ours when that lo lo some servant of the goddess snatched her away. Ooh. Do you have any idea how that made me feel inside? Icky, sticky, <laughs> furious. I almost peed. I raged, sick with anger. Uh, where'd he go? The, this turn of events has left me with a strong appetite for bloodshed. No, echo it. Bloodshed, 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 bloodshed. bloodshed. Still. Still, it hardly seems fair. Being of my position, position to take all of my anger out on you. Out on you. Which is why I promise oh. up front not to murder you. Like, okay. is like, this is way hot. <laughs> yeah, I'm totally <laughs> into this. No, I'll just beat you within an inch of your life. Oh, 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 oh what that tongue do? <laughs> what that tongue do? <sighs> He's like, screw Zelda. <laughs> Whoa, oh, magic the... cape? That's crazy. Oh, that's oh. Cool. <laughs> Ha! Oh. There you go. I like his powers. Uh, uh, really cool. Yeah. I can't believe he's this guy. <laughs> uh. What? Why can't you play as this guy? <laughs> you can play as him in Hyrule Warriors. Oh, cool. He's awesome. What? I was doing good at first. Now he's got his stupid little... He's coming at him from this angle. Ha ha! Wait, does he turn good? No, you can just play as a bunch of villains. Oh, okay. Games. Forget if it's like, there's a common threat. That, that one's really weird. It's like, oh, all the different timelines, all the different games are happening at the same yeah, time. Yeah, Hyrule Warriors is wonky. It's awesome. Have you played it? I played some of it. Yeah, it's like fun. Like Yeah, it's, it's very fun. That might be a fun one to try because co-op's just cool. You're like two... two oh yeah, I played it with um, Brandon uh, and it, we were just like having a good... Oh. Mm. Two guys on a battlefield together, controlling your factions and especially from like the... Uh, oh, uh. From like the point of view of like a, a Zelda fanatic such as myself, there's so much just like fan service and stuff. Yeah. Uh, oh yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, I like that he summed his sword. Whoa! Oh. Whoa! <laughs> so cool. Awesome. Just a I'm a big sword. fan of like magic sword, like because I you know I'm a, a student of culture. <laughs> yeah. But like, uh, there's a really there's a oh. dope mechanic in D and D where it's the Kex blade where you can like summon and unsummon your sword at will, and I just love that idea. Also, just like you gotta just like having a sword that you can just like reach out your hand and it just appears in your hand, like that's so badass. And so when he does this, I'm just like, oh cool. Yeah. <laughs> oh, oh, there's no ah, scabbard yeah. on him. He just like reaches his hand out. It's there. It's so cool. What would, if you could have anything, like, stored away in a pocket dimension, and you can just reach out your hand and it would be in your hand, what would it be? If you say your phone, I swear to God. <laughs> pocket dimension? <laughs> yeah. Um, you just reach out your hand, it would materialize in your hand. That's a good question. Do you have one? Do you have an answer? Uh, I just thought of the question just now, so not yet. Hmm. Yeah. Let's think. My switch! <laughs> Uh, yeah, I don't know, I'm trying to avoid, like, anything technology or, like... Like, if it was something a little not the most practical, just something that'd be cool to have. Mm. From, like, if I was in, like, old times, it would definitely be, like, a weapon, you know, like... Yeah. I would do that. Like, what would I do now? Oh. Oh. Something that I always need. Toilet paper? <laughs> Can you imagine that? <laughs> oh no, I'm out of toilet paper. One second. I think I have the pocket dimension. <laughs> oh god. Materializes in your hands. Hmm. Yeah. Eat it. Ah! Oh! Ooh, I would do like snacks or something. Practically. Yeah. Would it be like an inf infinite supply of oh, snacks? Oh yeah! <laughs> I think of the. I don't know. If you, you haven't watched Gravity Falls, still, have you? Ah, oh, no, not yet. Got it. There's an episode um, where one of the characters 
gets like one one uh, time wish or something. Yeah. Uh, for like something he does with time people, and he chooses uh, to have an infinite slice of pizza. <laughs> just regenerates every time he takes a bite out of it. It's amazing. That's pretty good. That's a great show. Highly recommended. I really do want to watch it. Sounds like on Disney Plus. Oh right. Okay. Both seasons are on there. It's Alex Hirsch. He's an amazing uh, creator. Uh, I need new hearts. I'm gonna die. That's a, oh, that's a good example. Alex Hirsch, definitely. Oh, and, and Gravity Falls, for example, like yeah. inspired by, like because of the, the long like. Oh, sorry. Mm -hmm. Well, you put up more of a fight than I would have thought possible out of such a soft boy, it's such an e boy. But don't clap for yourself quite yet. That sort of yours is the only reason you still live. What? I fear I spent far too long teasing and toying with you. The girl's presence has all but faded from this place, which means there's no reason to linger here. What? Goodbye, Sky Child. Run it and play this time. Get my way again, though, and you're dead. What? <laughs> um. Oh, uh, just like the long, like the 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 tree of like the family tree of creative inspiration. Yeah. yeah. Definitely, like, Eldritch Horror and Gravity Falls are sort of like, oh, yeah. What was the first thing you said? What? Before Gravity Falls? Well, like, the, like going back to the H.P. Lovecraft stuff. Oh. Like, you know, really bad guy, but, you know. Yeah. Uh, indirectly, Alex Hirsch yeah, was, took, taking was inspired. Inspiration. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got and you. making a, like, a better work of art. Mm -hmm. So that's just that weird, you know, weird, weird thing. Got you. Yeah. It's a good point. Yeah. Frick HP Lovecraft. Frick HP Lovecraft. All yeah. my constituents hate HP Lovecraft. Yeah. Frick JK Rowling. Yeah. My constituents hate JK Rowling. Yeah, like, fuck you if your name, if you just don't use your name. Like, like <laughs> I, what, Frick. OJ Runyon? Like, ugh. Frick J.R.R. Tolkien. Uh, is George R.R. R. Martin cool? I think so. I think we're in the clue. At, at the time of this recording... <laughs> <laughs> what about C.S. Lewis? Uh, I think maybe not. I feel like, yeah, just because just cause it's like the same period God, of there's time so that. many of them. J.K. Yeah. Rowling, H.G. Love. A.A. Milne. Winnie, Winnie, Winnie the Pooh. Oh. I think we're still in the clue. We just got a Winnie the Pooh movie, so... Yeah. Well, re not that recently. Yeah, well, yeah. Did um, you watch that one? The Christopher Robin one? Yeah. Well, it's weird, because there's two, like, movies called Christopher Robin or something. Ewan McGregor. The, yeah. Yeah, I watched that one. That's cute. I did, too. And then I also watched the one that was not Disney, but was about uh, A.M. Milne, like, in real life. Oh. It's called, like, Goodbye, Christopher Robin or something. Master, I have a message written in the language of the gods of old. Allow me to translate for you. Shake that booty like you got it. <laughs> <laughs> From the edge of time, I guide you. The one chosen to carry out the goddess mission. This is art. I'm Ditson, the spirit maiden who descended from the clouds must travel to two sacred places to purify her party. Oh, well, I don't know where her accent is. Man. You stand in one of these places, Skyview Spring. The other is known as the Earth Spring. Yeah, you did this have is cool, a like. little bit of an accent. Yes, just a little bit. Yeah. This second spring is hidden away deep within the scorched earth of Elden. What? That's such a good name. The spirit maiden, ever mindful of this heavy task entrusted to her, has set out for this second sacred place. The spirit maiden who's amazing. The spirit maiden is entrusted to her. I can't hear you when you're spinning like that. Whoa, another thing to Another put in iPad, the but I've already got one iPad. You got the rusty tablet. Ruby tablet. <laughs> I know. <laughs> it's really old. It's rusty. Ew. Maybe you should dip it in Coke or something. Maybe take a spin a swim yourself. Is that rust? Or is that what's the thing what are you what <laughs> Yeah, totally. <laughs> when you put a penny in Coke and then it cleans it. Uh I think it's because the copper Is that rust? Is that rust? Maybe it's just oxidation or something. Maybe that's just what yeah. rust is. I don't know. Elden, Elden. Remember what I just told you a minute ago? You should go to Elden. You should go, go to, to the Elden. place where you can put the tablet in. We should go to the sky. Bird statue. Sky. Do that next time on Live Power. Do we beat this dungeon? Unless there's a cutscene. Oh, nope. It's just coming back. Oh, oh, we'll talk to this guy. And then it'll be next time on Live Power. Yeah. Dungeon one done. Oh, hey, 
It's me, Queen! Did you find the girl? Not yet. Oh, that's too bad. But it sounds like you know at least where you need to search next to find her queen. That's something, right? Yeah. I'm so glad I've finally been riding with all my Kikui friends. Yeah. It's all thanks to you, Kui. Yeah. If any luck, hopefully you'll find the girl you've been searching for real soon. Koroku, take care, okay? What a sweetie. Who, who was that guy? <laughs> who is that? <laughs> See you next time. Bye. Bye.